In this division video, we're going to look at the bus stop method again, but this time we're going to look at numbers where the number doesn't divide exactly. We have remainders left over, okay, and we have to decide what to do with those remainders. Look at the first sum here. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Really easy, because I know that 3 times 2 is 6, okay. You might have sorted them into groups. 6 sorted into 2 groups. I've got 3 in each group. 7 divided by 2. 2 equal groups. But this time, I can't make them equal. I've got 1 left over. Okay, so my answer's still 3, but I've got a remainder of 1. 1 left over. Okay, that's going to be really important for my sums today. So, 923 divided by 4. Okay, let's set this out in the bus stop method. So, 923 divided by 4. 923 in my bus stop, and I divide it by 4. 4 into 9, or 9 divided by 4, I can do that. I can do it twice. 4 times 2 is 8. I've got 1 left over, 1 spare. Okay, I'm going to pass that on. 4 into 12, 12 divided by 4, goes 3 times 4, 8, 12. I've got nothing left over to pass on. 4 into 3, or 3 divided by 4. Now I've got a problem now because 3 can't be divided by 4. 0 times. Okay, but I didn't use that 3, so I've got to show it as a remainder. Okay, 230 divided by 3. Now, many of you might have done this before, but actually that's not the only way we can show our remainder. We can also show our remainder as a fraction and as a decimal. Okay, so let me show you how you do that. So, let's redo the calculation. Here's my bus stop. 923, and I'm dividing by 4. So, it went into 9 twice, with 1 left over. It went into 12 three times, okay, with none left over. But it didn't go into 3. Okay, it went in zero times. This time, I'm going to show my answer as a fraction. My three remainders. Okay, so I had three left over, which is fine. But this time, I'm going to tell you what I was dividing by. I was doing th divide by four. I've got 230 and three quarters. Okay, so remainder three becomes three quarters. So I keep my remainder and show it over what I was dividing by. 3 divided by 4. Okay, so show me 3 quarters. So I've done it as a remainder, as a fraction, but I could also do it as a decimal. I've drawn my, my bus stop a bit bigger. You'll see why in a second. So, 493. 4 into 9 goes twice, with 1 left over. It goes into 12 three times with none left over. It doesn't go into three at all. It's not big enough. So what am I going to do with my remainder this time? Well, I'm going to show my decimal point and put in a few zeros. Because all numbers have a decimal point and the zeros in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths column. But we just normally don't show them. But they are there. So, my remainders get passed on, just as normal. 4 into 30. 30 divided by 4. Well, I reckon 28 is as close as I can get. Okay, so that would be 7 times. With my 2 left over. 4 goes into 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, my decimal answer is 230.75. So, there's the three different ways we can show our remainders. Remainder 3, 3 quarters, and 0.75. Okay. Now I know that if I did 3 divided by 4, I would also get this answer 0 0.75. Okay. Let's have a look at that again. 
Let's have another go before you have a go. So I'm dividing by 8 this time. 5,747 divided by 8. 8 into 5 won't go. So I'm going to pass that 5 on. 8 into 57. 56. Okay. So 8 times 7 is 56 with one left over. 8 into 14. Can I do that one? Well, that'll go once with 6 left over. And then 8 into 67. Well, 8 times 8 is 64. Okay, so that's an 8. But I've got some left over. I've got remainder. Okay, I've got remainder of 3. Let's do that again. But let's do it as a fraction this time. So I'm dividing by 8. 5,747. It didn't go into 5, so we passed it on. 8 into 57, well that went 7 times with 1 left over. It went into 40 once with 6 left over. And then into 67, 8 times with 3 left over, or 3 eighths left over. Okay, let's try our final method and show it as a decimal. So I'm going to make my bar a bit bigger this time. I will stop. I'm still dividing by 8, 5,747. It didn't go into 5. It went into 57 seven times with one left over. It went into 14 once with six left over. And then it went in eight times with three left over. So I put in my decimal point, put in a zero, okay. And I'm gonna pass on those three. Eights into 30, okay. Eights into 30, hmm. How many eights? Well, three eights will go into 30. 8, 16, 24. I've got 6 left over. Okay. Here we go then. I'm going to pass on my 6 that are left over. 8 into 60. Well, that goes 7 times. Okay. 7 times 8 is 56. I've got 4 left over this time. I need another 0. There's my 4. 8 into 40 go 5 times. So, 718.375. So there's my three. 718 remainder three. 718 and three eighths, or 718.375. Okay, three decimal points is about as far as we'll go. Okay, we don't really want to deal with numbers with lots and lots of places after the decimal point. So, have a look at those again. You might want to rewind it and rewatch how I did those. And then you can have a go at these two. Pause the video now and have a go. How did you get on? A bit trickier, these ones. Okay, so you've got a choice of how you show these. You might have shown these as all three. You might have shown them as remainders or fractions or decimals. Okay, hopefully you've challenged yourself and done all three. 393 divided by 6. 6 doesn't go into 3. I'm going to pass it on. 6 into 39. Okay, well, 6 times 6 is 36, and that would give me 3 left over. 6 into 33 goes 5 times remainder 3. If I wanted to show it as a fraction, that remainder 3 would be shown with the 3 at the top, my leftovers, okay, and then I'd have my, what I'm dividing by underneath, the 6. So remainder 3, or I could have 3, 6. 
even better, you should have looked at 3, 6 and might have thought, oh, I can do something with this fraction. I can simplify it. So you might have shown it as 65 and a half. Even better. Okay. If you showed it as a decimal, so let's have a look at that one. So I'm dividing by 6. 393. It didn't go into 3. Okay. I mean, six times, three left over, five times. So this time I'm going to put in my decimal place. I'm going to pass on the remainders, the three left over. Six into 30 goes five times 65.5. Okay, so those are three different ways. You could have said remainder three as a fraction, three six or one half or as 65.5. Last one then, 6,762 divided by 8. I can't divide 6 by 8, so I'm going to pass it on. 8 times 8 is 64, using when I just square numbers. So I had 3 left over. 8 into 36 goes 4 times, because 4 times 8 is 32. So I've got 4 left over. 8 into 42, that leaves me with 5 and 2 left over. Okay, remainder 2. Or, instead of remainder 2, you could have shown it as a fraction. 5 and 2 eighths. And 2 eighths can also be simplified into one quarter. Let's look what that was like as a decimal. So as a decimal, we would have had 5,000, 6,000, sorry, 762, and I'm dividing it by eight. So it didn't go into the six, but it went in eight times there with three left over. 18 to 36 goes four times with four left over and 18 to 42 goes five times. Decimal point followed by a zero. I think I'm going to have to extend this a little bit. So what was left over? Two was left over. 18 to 20 is two because two times eight is 16. Four left over. Eight into 40 goes five times. 0.25 okay same as a quarter okay so these are the possible answers you could have had if you need to have another go at this lesson or if you're ready to you can move on to a bit of long division mm -hmm.